Hello, and welcome back to Farming Simulator here on Alps Panorama. So we're going to try this again. I just recently uh, tried to record, and my computer had some problems, and I actually had to force restart it. So I don't know what was going on there, but hopefully we got it all situated. So I'm going to retrace my steps. This might not be amusing to you, because doing this a second time isn't original. <laughs> so here we go. First of all, we're going to start with uh, hiring a worker. Oh, look, it saved a little bit of it. When On the last time, we started at the end, so apparently it saved this little bit. Because our, our worker even wears a cowboy hat. Look at that, he's got a white cowboy hat on. Nicely done, dude. I like your style. Alright. And what I was going to say, what I said in the last time, but it didn't repick up, is... We are going to be looking at buying a new piece of land here real soon. And so I wanted to go ahead and make sure that our animals were well taken care of so we don't have to worry about that. So in this episode today, what we're going to be doing and focusing on is getting our animals set up so that they all their needs are met and so that they are ready to go and we don't have to worry about them. So we're going to start with putting the Anderson mixing wagon right there. And I don't have to check this because I already know from doing it before. Um, we're going to grab a hay bale, one hay bale, and take it over to our horses. And then they'll be good to go. And they'll have everything they need for the next couple of days. So we'll come over here and grab our front loader. Yeah, everything seems to be running smoother. I was having a little bit of problem with the game, but I did notice that when I restarted my computer that it did a Windows update. So it looks like Windows, because like I've said before, I'm in the whatever they call it. They're, I'm one of their beta testers or whatever, a Windows developer. And so I get update super quick a lot quicker than most people do and they just decided that apparently they thought my computer was idle even though we're playing games here and they decided to go ahead and update my PC and so that's probably what happened that's probably where the error lied was they probably updated something that was required to run the game and the game didn't like that very much so we're back at square one here. No big deal. We didn't get too far. We just, well, kinda. We were about to feed the cows. Well, we were about to see if I got the total mix ration right because I forgot the ratio of things required for the mixing wagon to make total mix ration. I talked it over in the last episode and I convinced myself, that, or not last episode, but in the previous attempt. Sorry, let me get my words straight so I don't confuse anybody. I talked it over, and I believe that we use four bells of hay, two bells of straw, and two bells of silage. Because this is the, like we found out in the, the last time we did this, the Anderson mixing wagon is pretty much double capacity has doubled the capacity of the standard in game one so it takes twice the amount imagine that double equals twice you know go figure but I'm I can't remember if that's hundred percent correct and I it, it would have been very nice if in the last episode or not episode in the last attempt to record this if it would have let me hop into the case over there and see if we got it right so that way I would have known but since it didn't we are going to be trying this again just put this over here out of the way I'll try stacking it up here Oop. I do know that these round bells are harder to stack for me, my, for me personally but there Got that out of the way. We fed the horses one bale of hay. And they should be good to go. And with this, 
one load of total mixed ration, the, the cow should be good to go for a while. I haven't checked their bedding. We might need to shred some straw up. Okay, so this is the exact point I was at last time. So this is all you missed. I think I did a lot more talking, so this is probably better. It's a lot more streamlined. And a lot less of my rambling for you guys to deal with. So hey, this probably worked out in your favor. Whoa. I'm gonna ask you guys a question that has nothing to do with the video game. Are you guys ready? has nothing to do with this game. I'm currently looking at new line for my fishing poles and it's been a chaotic mess of confusion when looking online for any information to has anything to do with fishing because there's so much conflicting opinions I would say. There's no there's no proof of any of this stuff. It's just Oh, it's just forage. What did I do wrong? Not enough silage. What the heck's going on here? Let's go see if it can sort itself out. But is braid I'm fishing for trout. Is braid better than monofilament? I know that there's plenty of things that say that there it is, but I believe that's all marketing strategy. So let me know your guys' opinion, if you guys have one. Maybe with a little bit of there we go total mixed ration. All right, we're good. We're good. That scared me for a minute. I'm not gonna lie. Let's just keep watching it. Still saying total mixed ration down there on the bottom right, and all of our bars on the left are green. So that was all right. We just got a little extra forage in there for them. Still saying total mixed ration. Oh, and they're full. Let's just have a double check here. Total mixed ration. They're full. Good. They could use a little bit of straw, but I don't think it's anything we really necessarily need to worry about at the moment. So we'll leave that little extra total mixed ration in our mixing wagon. No harm, no foul. And just sit there. I did see that some si um, some silos, some of the newer silos, have uh, the option to put total mixed ration in the silo should be kind of handy but as of right now I'm not seeing a real need for a new silo for us at least for our farm and so we're to stick with what we have here for the time being at least and let's check the horses don't need straw oat or hay the chickens don't need anything they're good how many chickens do we have we have 31 man they're breathing like crazy So, sheep. Do we want sheep? Or do I want sheep, I guess is what I should say. Sheep require... Uh, Farmer Tom R. told me this. They require grass or hay. Either one. So you know what? We might hold out for a while and then eventually we'll get a ch -ch 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 -ch. what is it called here let me see so I'm not calling it the wrong thing it's called a loading wagon eventually we'll probably look into getting a loading wagon just a small one uh, one of these ones here and we will just use grass grass clippings for the uh, sheep. Oh, and in the previous attempt at recording this, I did notice that our hay bells are kind of dwindling. You know what? We have enough hay bells right here right now. We could just get a few sheeps, couldn't we? Let's go see how much they are. We don't have to get a bunch, just a few, and then they can reproduce gradually over time. Uh, where do you buy them at? Do you buy them here? No. Buy them here? No. Here? Yes. A 
let's get let's get hmm ten of them hold on do they require straw and the only reason I ask this is because I don't particularly enjoy shredding straw nope they don't they just require water and food all right so we will buy some let's just start out with two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's gonna cost us fourteen thousand dollars probably won't get a very good return from it but we have the room for them so we might as well get them look at them we got sheep So let's see, what do they need? They need grass or hay, Farmer Tom was right, and they need water. We can do both of those. So what we'll do is we'll come over here to our little fent, and we will grab two bells of hay to start them off with. I don't even know if they're going to need that much, but we shall find out. See if I can't be skilled again and grab two at a time. It's asking a lot of me. There we go. And we're gonna, since we're gonna be traveling a pretty good distance, we're gonna lower this down. Just so we don't roll. I think we need to go check on our worker. I think I might have missed a dialogue box popping up saying that he was done. Or couldn't go any further. Is this, is this where we feed them? No, that's the watering dish. Watering trough. My bad. This is the feed one. Okay, let's see how much that gave them. Full on up, dude. They didn't even, they just needed a little bit more than one bale. Alright. No big deal. Let's go grab our watering tank. Oh no, we have to actually... First, let's go over here. Oh, he's still working it. He's going to be done here in just a second. What is he doing? No, no, we don't want you to do this. Okay, guy. Okay. Oh, we're almost out of seed as well. So we will just come down here, like so. See if we can't just take care of all of this real quick, and then we'll get back to our sheep. After we hire a worker to start doing some fertilizing for us while we're busy taking care of the sheep. And going to look at land. Because I still am very undecisive. I, I have hardest time making decisions, man. I know it's a problem. It's a, it's a big problem. But that's what, I mean, just think, that's probably why I asked you guys what line to purchase for my fishing pole, right? Because I have a hard, the hardest time making decisions. I always feel like I'm going to make the wrong one. Alright, just this last little bit here. There. Looking good. Oh, and it looks like our canola is growing in down there. Which is nice. So we'll start this guy up, have them start their fertilizing journey. Nice. Covers everything. And we'll take this back to the farm, or to the yard, I should say. This is all our farm. But this over here would be the yard, where our lawn gnome ever so carefully, observantly watches for intruders. I don't know what the lawn gnome would do, but I guess I don't really want to find out. We'll park this up. Well, if we try, yeah. Let's try not to slam it into the harvester, Frecky. We kind of need the harvester to stay nice. Alright. Uh, 
And so now back to what we were doing. We were, oh yeah, dropping off the weight and the front loader. So we'll put this here. Here, let's just back it in here. Like so. There we go. And getting rid of the bell spikes. And the front loader. Now we need to go over and grab the water tank, which I believe is left near the horses. From the previous, I think, yeah, the previous episode where we refilled the water for everybody. Oh, of course I did that. I thought it was the part to hook up would be at the other end, but it's not. Oh well, no big deal. Just swoop around. And I did have sheep in my other series that I did on Michigan Farms. And if I remember right, they hardly require anything. The main thing you have to do with the sheep, the biggest pain in the butt, is actually picking up their pallets of wool. And that's not that big of a deal. And they don't hardly ever require water or anything like that. Their food stays up pretty good. C similar, like similar to the horses, I would say. The, the horses don't require much either. We're going to stop by here really quick on our way to go refill the water tank. And we're just going to see how much milk the cows have produced. 2,500, not bad. Slowly but surely. Alrighty. We'll go top off this water tank so it's good to go when we need it. While that fills up, let's go see how this guy's doing. Wow, he's almost done already. Well, kinda. Alright, let's just go park this up. We'll park it over by the cows, because they're probably going to need water faster than anybody else. So it's probably the best place to store it. And in reality, it's out of the way over here hardly ever come over here so only reason we do come over here is to water the cows helper A has completed their task we're just gonna park our tractor here for a minute turn it off we'll go finish up over here did that guy miss that spot right there? looks like it Let's get it. There we go. All better. There we go. Trying to not waste much fertilizer. So, well, let's discuss this. Let's. Um, the thing I've been thinking about, you know, I've shown you guys a few times in a few of the previous videos, is buying that one field over there, which I'm sure you guys know. If you guys have watched the other episodes, you guys have an idea of which one I'm looking at. And I think that would probably be the best idea, mainly because, like I stated earlier, I want to keep our our area localized. I, I don't want to venture off way over in the map with our equipment. I like to keep it all in a central location at least for now until we start making more money where we can buy other equipment that can actually be at other places without impacting our farm. I don't want to take our fertilizer tank over a few fields over 
and then need it all of a sudden back at our main farm. Which I don't know if that would be actually cause any problems. I don't know. We could probably get the timing so we wouldn't need it at the same time. But I just don't want to run into that problem. If you guys know what I mean. I might just be pulling another but another noob mistake or doing something dumb, but I don't know. I think it makes sense in my head, so. Get that little bit we missed. All right, and now this field is ready. It's gonna need to be sprayed or herbicide or sprayed with some herbicide in the future here. For now, it's good to go. So here we are. Hmm. One other thing that I want to discuss is that when I did look off camera before the all the problems happened earlier and the plow we own currently is this one. It requires 150 horsepower and it's got a 2.5 meter, 2.5 meter spread. This one here almost has double that but it also requires double the horsepower which at 300 horsepower is something we do not have. And in order to get 300 horsepower, we're going to have to be moving up to a large tractor. Which is money that we do not have. So, I'm kind of at a loss right here. I'm not sure. I mean, we could just do it. Let's take a look. So, if we buy that piece of land that we're on, this one here. The field we can make on it could be pretty big, but that right there kind of impacts our our field area that we have to work with. If you know what I mean. So I'm still I'm just I'm just confused guys. I'm not sure what to do about this. I know we want a new piece of land. You know what? We're probably just gonna end up buying this piece of land and rolling with it. Because we could bring out the field to here. Then come up to here. And I think this is about Oh no, it goes up even further. So it goes up to about here. It would give us a pretty decent sized field to be working with. And I'd like to do my best to create a square more square field at least for the moment we can ex always expand it later into other shapes and make it bigger but the only see there's this this right here this is this is a problem man for our harvester I mean I guess if we did it it wouldn't be that big of a deal so hmm decisions as I said I suck at them but I am liking the idea of eventually owning that entire piece of land. You guys can't see my finger. Um, the entire piece of land, all of that you see inside the road there, this whole piece, eventually. And then we could turn it into a pretty big field. The only thing that we would run into, as I've stated in other episodes, but I'll just bring go over here real quick so you guys understand in case you don't in case it's a bit confusing is these divots here where it looks like a river or you know a stream one slide 
overflow runs off of we'd have to come through and smooth that out with landscaping and then go over and what's it called um, plow it down so yeah I guess let me see because this piece of land would be okay but I think this piece of land would be would be the best for right now so let's let's just go ahead and we're gonna buy it yep purchased well now we own it no going back now we can start plowing it out and getting it ready but I will probably do I will either plow off camera or I will plow in a time lapse probably off camera because it's not exciting work and I've described to you guys what I want to do and so you guys know what's going on there's no surprises but yeah that's gonna be it's gonna be a task because I'm gonna have to go around the edges here the best I can while leaving clearance for our harvester to actually turn around with no complications but yeah I think this is that's gonna be it for now I'm gonna actually go take a look at you know what here I don't think the recording's been going on too long I'm gonna record a little bit of me getting ready to plow this and we're gonna put the front weight on well, actually we're gonna put wide tires on I think I don't think this has wide tires on here yet just for traction two thousand dollars but it should help us with traction I don't know if it's gonna be required we're gonna put the front weight on to help us drag through the dirt or grass area to make a field and we'll grab our plow a trusty plow it's been a good one I mean it's not very big it takes a while to get things done but it does get the job done hmm just thinking of where would be a good place to start I guess anywhere at this point let's go with I don't know is this the whoa well, nope nope what is the right way to plow I still haven't figured that out like the right direction to have your your plow facing like this here we go um what's going on oh I have to have allow create fields the I always forget about that all right there it is so I don't know if you guys can see it but there is a like I've said before there is a grid and one of my viewers that I don't think they watch anymore but they did inform me about this grid on this map here which I didn't quite understand what they were saying until now so Daniel if you are still watching I appreciate your input man I, I totally see what you mean or what you meant by that now and that is super helpful but you see if you look carefully I don't know if it will come across on YouTube but there is uh, I wish I could show you with a mouse or something but there is 
a line, a, a definitive line you can follow here. If you want to try to make your fields in a way that a worker can follow them. And the best way to do it is to zoom all the way out. Remember, this is this Daniel taught me this. I, this isn't my idea. I'm not taking credit for it. I just want to shine light on it because it's a great idea. The If you zoom all the way out and then you look down at the ground, you can see an actual grid pattern. A, like a checkerboard of sorts. And if you follow that, from what Daniel was saying, which I believe him, is that the work, this is the pattern that the workers like to follow. Don't have access to this land. Alright, so we hit the edge here. No big deal. We're just doing a rough outline right now, and I'll go through and touch this all up so it's all nice and even. Now hopefully, no. Okay, so we have to go in a little bit more. Let's try here. I don't have act. It let me drag it over there. What are you talking about, dude? You know what? It might be a good idea to come over here. Let's flip our plow around. And what we'll do is we'll drag from this section all the way up to where it says we don't have access to that land and then we'll try to connect the two together so we'll drop here and once again we're gonna try following the grid I know I'm not the best at driving this thing straight as you can tell if you watch the the plow line you can see it go uneven like I kinda went to the right a little bit there but this is just, you just gotta get a generally straight line following this grid and we should be able to make it so a worker will work on this field without struggling. That's the hope and plan anyway. Because while I like to do the fields myself, I also like if I'm busy or have other things I uh, that I need to be doing it's very handy to have the worker be able to do the field without needing their hand held. So we'll just keep dragging until it says we don't have access. Okay, there it is. And so if we come in like here, let's say, and we drop it, we follow the grid straight across the best you can then these should match up hopefully are you kidding me <laughs> just that little section you gotta be kidding me see this is why it's better to do this stuff off camera because this stuff's frustrating for me. It's got to be accessible here, doesn't it? This is my land. I'm telling you this right now, whether you like it or not. Okay, so that worked. And we go over another plow width. Yes. I'll come through and touch this grassy, the little bits I missed up. Um, I'll touch it all up, get it all taken care of. But for now, I'm just trying to figure out where the R... See, it? it's so confused. It doesn't even know what we own. So I guess that little bit will just have to be there, along with that. Line. You know what? As long as we have a generally straight line up and down, I don't think it matters how long this stuff is. So what we'll do is we will try to do this. I need to flip this around so I can... This is probably the wrong way to be plowing, but... And hopefully this isn't too boring for you guys. Well, I want to try to go like this. We don't have access to this land. We do have access to that. 
I want to try to connect. At least I can make it look a little better and not have that little thing branching out like that. Don't have access to this land. Of course I don't. Of course I don't. That would just be too simple, right? And don't be telling me I don't have access here. Okay. Thank you. Now, are you going to let me just... Creep over here like this? Nope, you're not, are you? Nope, you're going to be stubborn. What about... I just want to smooth this out a little bit so it doesn't look so jagged and crappy. Come on, don't be... Don't do this to me. You're going to do this to me. Well, I guess that's going to have to be it. Alright, guys. But that's going to wrap it up. I'm going to continue working on this in between episodes. I'm going to get this build uh, plowed out and get it ready for... And put lime on it and everything. Get it ready for, for planting. And then our next episode, we'll come through and we'll plant this up. Get it, get it going. So yeah, I'm going to end it right here. I'm not going to go and take time and go back to the farm or anything. You guys know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And hopefully you agree with my decision. If not, let me know down below. I, any constructive commentary or constructive criticism is always welcome here. So thank you guys for watching. And you guys have yourselves a wonderful day.